I am in a house today, you might recognize it. Uh, let's have a little pan around. If you've been watching the videos for a while, I did a, house, a video in a house, it was called uh, the, the cheapest house I ever bought. This isn't it, this is next door. So uh, it's the identical, but you'd be looking at it in a mirror. And uh, this is a recent purchase. So we bought this house and we bought the house next door first and then this one. And this one's all, all renovated to pretty much the same spec look you can see behind. Uh, I'll take a little wander upstairs as well, but that isn't the point. Um, let me go upstairs and I'll show you. So we bought in within this quarter of a mile area, uh, we bought uh, eight, nine houses. And the interesting thing is they're all pretty much identical. Let's see, go back, check the other video. It's, uh, it's the same house in mirror. And keep going around there. Yep, same house in mirror. And the front bedroom's the same too. Let's have a little look around there. There you go, look. And let me just check the, uh, or spin the camera. So spinning the camera, going out the front window, and you'll see down there a row of identical terraces. And I've just been into that one there and agreed to buy it. Spin the camera back. And the interesting thing between all of these houses is in the nine months we've been buying in this area, we'll probably, nine months of those have been sale agreed, but we've probably been buying a little bit longer, probably almost 18 months, but nine months since those, it's probably one, one a month, honestly. Uh, and there's a couple more around the corner that we're looking at. The price that we pay, I've just offered on that one, or sale agreed on, on that one over, over there, is £10,000 more than that one next door. This one's a little bit more, that one's a little bit more. The prices have been going up and we're very, very happy to pay more. And uh, you know, it, it, it is the feeling that um, you know, this was a better bargain or this was, you know, uh, it's all relative. Any of these houses is a cheap house by any standards. You know, that, that one next door started off £35,000. Uh, and we've got actually up to £48,000. So the prices have risen. Identical houses, in actual fact, that one over there has got slightly more renovation. So in many ways, we pay me more, you know, about £2,000 more as well. Uh, why are we happy to do that? Um, it's all about the comparables, the relative discount. The houses in this area have gone up in value. I think, in all honesty, the house next door, the £35,000 house, was just too cheap. You know, I was, I'm not sure if we could repeat that again. Um, this area had been, let's say, undiscovered. Um, but uh, you know, we, we certainly managed to get in there first and buy a bargain. But you know, the, a price rising from sort of 40 up to 48 over the period of a, of a year, they're all still cheap houses. And as long as the money we pay to buy it plus the renovation is only 80% of what that end value is worth. It is, well, you know, the, the total finished uh, value when the house is all, all singing, all dancing, it's decorated like this. I mean, it didn't start out like this, of course, it was a wreck. It's needed a new kitchen, new bathroom, new carpets, um, decorating throughout. I think there's been new windows in here. I can't remember if we changed the windows or not. One of them we did, one of them was fine. We had some roof work, we've had to put new fencing out of the back. So there was a lot of work to do and it's brought the value up. As we've done it more and more in the area, and there's other landlords, it's not just us, there's other landlords buying, there's some owner occupiers buying around here, but generally speaking, the area is, I wouldn't call it up and coming, you wouldn't ride, walk around here and say it's up and coming, but it's, in, it's definitely experienced a lift in values. And as it does that, the comparables, what we're saying the property is going to be worth at the end, are also rising. And all we need to do is get in and get out and I've put some capital into this property, and then on a refinance, I've got almost all of it back out. And once it's out, um, this property is probably probably gonna carry on going up in value. Um, honestly, I'm not that bothered whether it does or doesn't in the short and medium term. I'm very bothered and very confident it will over the long and very long term. And my personal extra strategy is death, so I'm pretty sure that it will go up before I die. Um, in the meantime, you'll earn, this one's about £270 a month profit every single one, which is not bad at all for a very small house. Uh, certainly in just over two years, that profit added up 
will equate to the capital I've put into it. So within two years, um, oh, at the moment, I'm, 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 I'm imagining within two years, I'll have a free house. Yeah, and uh, uh, then earning, you know, some people turn their nose up at sort of two, 250 to 300 pounds, which is what our single lets typically make profit every month. They turn their nose up at that moment, it's, it's not much. Um, you know, need, need a lot of them. Well, well, truth be told, you know, five, 10, 15, 20 of those, and you'll soon notice it, but it's the long-term capital appreciation. And when you're coming from the point of it being a free house, um, it just puts it into perspective. That's why buying the houses in a rising market is, I don't know, in many ways, it's, it's, it's easier to do in a rising market than it is in a uh, falling market. Uh, there's more certainty on the end values in a rising market, of course. Um, I think you probably get a bargain more, more often in a falling market, but uh, it takes a little bit of a while for the comparables to come back up and to show it. And it might take you know, five years to show it rather than nine, 10, 12 months, you know, so. You know, I just thought it was an, uh, an interesting one. I, I noticed I was I was in the middle of, yeah, um, I think it's eight or nine properties, all pretty much identical, and the price have gone up over, over time by just over 10,000 pounds, and we're absolutely happy to keep paying it. It's all relative, so it was worth pointing out. Bye for now.